I love the team management and leadership program. I learned that with teams and teamwork, anything is possible. The world is created by your word. So my goal is to reach 100 million people, and I never thought that would be possible until the distinctions of team, and it's completely possible. My name is Valerie Morak. I'm from the Heartland team in Chicago. My name is Robin McHugh. I'm from Team New York. I'm Shihan Michelle Gay, here in New York City. My name is Fanny Velis, and I'm from Team Los Angeles. The name of my project is a feature film called Homebound. I'm committed to transforming the way Latinos are portrayed in the media. Last summer, I was actually able to shoot this film thanks to everything that I've learned through the Team Management and Leadership Program. Without team, this movie just wouldn't have happened because I was always the Lone Ranger. I really got to experience the power of enrollment. It was so magical to see an entire community so inspired by what we were creating that they do anything to make it a reality. And uh, I have you to thank, team. My commitment is that when my kids grow up, they can go to the movies or watch television and see positive portrayals of Latinos everywhere. And that's my commitment. Bonjour, je m'appelle Sylvie Tremblay, je fais partie de l'équipe Montréal. Mon projet s'appelle « Les anges de l'espoir ». C'est pour venir en aide aux familles dans le besoin en rénovant leur maison. J'ai été très inspirée par l'émission américaine « Les anges de la rénovation ». Et j'avais vraiment envie de donner au suivant. Donc, quand j'ai parti de l'idée, euh, tout le monde voulait embarquer dans le projet. C'est de voir le petit garçon, quand il a vu sa chambre, puis qui était terminé, là, là, ses yeux brillaient, là, ça ne savait pas de quoi. Ça m'a apporté un besoin d'être anonyme. Je ne veux plus être celui qui rend service dans la lumière, mais celui qui rend service dans l'ombre. De, de se rassembler ensemble pour pouvoir vraiment mener à terme un projet, là, la force que ça a, c'est fou. On a quand même 26 fournisseurs et 20 bénévoles qui ont participé à ce projet-là. La prochaine étape pour les anges de l'espoir, c'est d'amener ça à travers tout le Québec et d'en créer une émission de télé. Je veux dire un gros merci à tout le monde qui a participé. Et un petit clin d'œil à Karine et son nouveau petit bébé. Merci! My name is Robbie McHugh. I'm a flight paramedic from Albany, New York, and I teach CPR. What most people don't know is with old CPR, the CPR that's 50 years old, the survival rates were around 3 to 5 percent. Now, with new CPR, we're seeing triple the survival rates. So what we created was a group called CPRmatters.org, a group of inspiring survivors, passionate supporters and rescuers, all around the idea of raising awareness and people learning CPR. Just recently, we did a television interview with cardiac arrest survivors. My cardiac arrest happened actually while I was playing soccer and I was really, really fortunate enough that there were two women on the opposing team actually who didn't hold that against me and <laughs> came over and as soon as I lost consciousness started doing CPR. Over a thousand people a day suffer a sudden cardiac arrest. We're trying to raise awareness about new CPR. Right now only about one in three people that suffer a sudden cardiac arrest actually get CPR and our goal is for more people to know what to do in an emergency. My name is Valerie Marac. I'm from the Heartland team in Chicago. I'm the producer-director of a documentary film called Journey to Peace. After interviewing His Holiness the Dalai Lama for another film, I envisioned a project that would take a close look at how people choose peace in situations of anger and violence. You see little kids dying, you know, left and right. You see in the news every day, you know, somebody's been killed over, you know, involved in gang activity or something like that. And it's stupid, it's, it's no point. I went on to interview four other Nobel Peace Prize winners and to work with ex-gang leaders and ex-offenders who had come back to their community to mitigate the type of violence they perpetuated. Through the team management and leadership program, I had breakthroughs in refocusing my vision, establishing my team, and making requests for funding. This is what it's about right here. This is what it's about. Right here, give me five. I'm Shihan Michelle Gay. I'm a two-time Women's World Knockdown Champion, a fourth-degree black belt, and the chief instructor and founder of Ken Wakan Karate here in New York City. 
I developed a self-defense workshop called the No Way, No How Preventative Self-Defense. And you're gonna slide back like, yeah, and pull like, that's my hand. You already know everything you need to know to survive, even succeed in the situation. Use these tools and then deal with the situation what works for you. You get to say. Women leave this workshop knowing how important it is to say no, when to say no, all the ways you can say no, and then if you say no and they don't listen, how to back it up, like take them out. Beautiful. For women, they get to be empowered and they walk out, they walk out and they know that they can take care of themselves.